Welcome. Thank you for attending. Our event will begin shortly. For the best viewing experience, be sure to join from a computer. At this time, take a moment to check out our toolbar. Here you can find group chat, where you can chat with other attendees during a live event. Help desk, where you can submit your questions. Meet our local sponsors. Here you'll find information about our sponsors that helped bring us today's event. And the information icon, where you can learn helpful tips about viewing a webinar. Finally, a recording of today's events will be available on the Walk Main stage. Thank you again for joining, and we will begin momentarily. Hey there, it's Fred Upton. Thanks so much for working this weekend, this march again to end Alzheimer's. It's something we really have to cure. A number of years ago, uh, on a bipartisan basis, we passed 21st Century Cures, legislation that I led through the House and to President Obama's desk. We included $45 billion more on top of what was already funded for medical research over the next 10 years. Alzheimer's has cost us all, <laughs> certainly the patients, uh, family members, but the taxpayer too. We gotta find a cure. And that's what today is all about. So we're all stepping up. We have each other's backs. We are gonna end this thanks to you and everyone across the country who's participating like today. Thanks. Hey everyone, thanks for being with us today. Stay tuned for our opening and promised garden ceremony, which will begin in about two minutes. Hello and welcome to the Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's. My name is Jim Gifford with WSJM Radio and I am very pleased to be here speaking to you from Berrien County. I'd love to be seeing all your faces in person, but the changes to this year's event reflect our dedication to your health and safety. Even though things look a little different today, one thing has not changed, and that is our commitment to ending Alzheimer's. And this year, walk is everywhere, on every sidewalk, track, and trail. Today, you'll be walking on your own or in a small team of friends and family, while others in your community are doing the same. Because we're all walking and fundraising for the same thing a world without Alzheimer's and all other dementia. Currently more than 5 million people in the United States, including 190,000 right here in Michigan, are living with Alzheimer's and 16 million individuals are serving as their unpaid caregivers. The funds we raise to walk to end Alzheimer's helps the Alzheimer's Association provide critical care and support services like the free 24 seven helpline, education programs, and our website, alz.org. Your efforts also help the association continue its work, rallying a nationwide network of advocates to speak up for those facing the disease. Ultimately, the end of Alzheimer's will come through research and the money you raise makes that possible. Currently, the association's investing over $208 million in more than 590 active scientific investigations, leading the way for global progress. One day we will end this disease and we're gonna do it together. So far, we've raised over $15,296. We could all give just a little more right now, right? It's easy to do wherever you are. Just text two end alls that's the number two, E-N-D-A-L-Z, to 51555. Two end alls to 51555. Now, throughout the day, let's cheer each other on by taking lots of pictures and posting them to social media. Be sure to use the hashtags, hashtag walk to end alls, 
and hashtag end alls. That's E-N-D-A-L-Z. Hashtag walk to end alls and hashtag end alls. This year, we are fortunate to have two national presenting sponsors alongside us in this fight, Edward Jones and CVS Health. Let's hear a few words from both of our incredible sponsors. My name is Matt McCullough, a principal in our information systems division with Edward Jones and co-chair of my local walk to end Alzheimer's in St. Louis. I'm glad to be with you today. For nearly a century, Edward Jones has been in the business of building relationships and helping clients preserve family wealth. Alzheimer's disease has sought to destroy them both. On behalf of the 49,000 Edward Jones Associates, it's an honor to join you in this fight as a Walk to End Alzheimer's national presenting sponsor. Today, I'm proud to share that we recently bolstered our strategic alliance with the Alzheimer's Association, committing $25 million over the next five years. This commitment builds on the 25 million already raised by the firm, our associates and communities since launching the Alliance in 2016. This year alone, Edward Jones Associates, clients and their families are participating on thousands of virtual teams by walking individually or with their families in their local neighborhoods with the goal of raising $3 million. But we aren't going to stop there. We will continue to accelerate the fight by funding research, raising awareness, and increasing referrals to vital care and support services until the day there is a cure for Alzheimer's. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Lisa Bazacha, and I am the Chief Human Resources Officer of CVS Health. I am so proud to be here with you today virtually to kick off this exciting and innovative event with the Alzheimer's Association. At CVS Health, our purpose is helping people on their path to better health. And we are proud to stand with you on the path to a better future, one where we can stop this devastating disease. On behalf of our nearly 300,000 employees across the country, we are thrilled to join you as a national presenting sponsor of the Walk to End Alzheimer's. We have made a three-year, $10 million commitment to the Alzheimer's Association, and through this partnership, we will raise funds and awareness to advance the cause while helping families facing Alzheimer's and all other dementia diseases by connecting customers with Alzheimer's Association care and support resources. Supporting people living with Alzheimer's and other dementia diseases and their caregivers is important now more than ever as we battle the COVID-19 pandemic. Together with the Alzheimer's Association, we are inspiring our colleagues, our customers, our clients, our patients, and our communities to join the fight against this disease. Thank you to our colleagues that are walking today, and thank you to each and every one of you for your dedication to ending Alzheimer's. So a huge thank you to both Edward Jones and CVS Health for being leaders in this fight. And now I would like to thank some additional companies and individuals who made today's walk possible. We are grateful for our generous sponsors, including Lico, WSJM Radio, Caretill of St. Joseph, and Woodland Terrace and Niles, Coloma, and Bridgman. I'd also like to thank the 2020 Walk to End Alzheimer's national teams who've joined forces across the country to recruit teams and raise awareness and funds that are critical to advancing our mission. So let's hear it for our diamond and platinum level national teams. Next, I'd like to thank our gold level teams. And thank you to our silver level national teams. And finally, Thank you to our member level teams. 
We also need to recognize some very special volunteers who've worked so hard over the past few months, our devoted walk planning committee. This group of dedicated individuals has worked tirelessly to put this event together, quickly adapting to everything that has changed this year. And last but not least, a huge thank you and congratulations to our top individual fundraisers to date. Mary Doherty, who has raised an incredible $3,000. Deb Clark, who has raised $2,375. And Leon Severus, who has raised $565. Our top fundraising team to date, Woodland Terrace, which has raised an impressive $3,000 so far this year. Lance's Legacy, who has raised $2,375. And Sigma Kappa Gamma Beta, who has raised $1,506. To each and every one of you watching today, keep up the great work because donations for the 2020 walk will be through December 31st. You all should have received a set of walk flags in the mail when you registered. You may have noticed that one of the designs features a sea of colorful flowers. So after this ceremony, I'd like you to grab that flag and wave it high as you walk. I encourage you to uh, view our drive-by at Dickinson Stadium right off Lakeshore Drive. This beautiful Garden of Hope will be available for viewing from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And these flowers, including those on your flags, represent all of you and our many reasons to end Alzheimer's. All of the orange flowers represent participants like Western Michigan University Sigma Kappa Chapter. Uh, who's walking today to support the cause and the association's vision of a world without Alzheimer's and all other dementia. Nationally, Sigma Kappa chooses the Alzheimer's Association as a partner for their philanthropy work. These young women are working uh, to one day have a world without Alzheimer's. All of the purple flowers represent people like Allen Family and Friends team, who's here today because they have lost someone to Alzheimer's. Allen Family and Friends team has actively participated in every St. Joseph and now Berrien County walk to end Alzheimer's since 2014. That's their seventh year this year. They walk specifically this year to honor uh, the memory of father, husband, grandfather, and friend Devin Allen, who died just recently, August 21st, and had Alzheimer's for over a decade. All of the yellow flowers represent uh, walk participants like Donna. She's with us today because she supported or has cared for someone with Alzheimer's. Donna's a longtime walker and supporter of the cause and supported her husband through his journey with Alzheimer's. And the planted blue flowers represent people like Nalima, who is here today because she is living with Alzheimer's or another dementia. There's one more flower we need to add to this garden, and I am confident that one day we will have a white flower that represents the first survivor of Alzheimer's. Until that beautiful day happens, we must not back down. We must continue to lead the way in this fight because together we can end Alzheimer's. Are you ready? This year, the starting line is your doorstep. So let's count down together and then get out and start walking.
All right, so once again, this is Jim Gifford at WSJM uh, here in uh, St. Joe Benton Harbor. And boy, thank you ever so much for uh, all of those of you who are participating today. Get out, have fun, uh, and uh, keep in mind what it is we're all doing here today, working to end Alzheimer's. Every one of you is incredibly important in this. And uh, we thank you again and again and again and again. And once it's all over and we have this all wrapped up, We'll start planning for next year. Thanks again for participating. Have a great day.